The government of the Dominican Republic eased coronavirus restrictions on Sunday to encourage people to get out and vote in national elections. The Dominican Republic is the Caribbean nation worst affected by the pandemic. Special voting schedules were adopted to account for elderly voters considered more at risk during the outbreak. I hope that in these elections, the candidate who loses is a good loser, and the one who is elected knows that it was the people who chose, not so he can benefit, but in order to work for the people. Sunday's national elections were the second since 1994 to elect a president, vice president, both chambers of Congress and representatives to the Central American Parliament. The Dominican Republic is living now a unique moment. And I have to say that we are witnessing a major shift in the political parties governing the Dominican Republic, where one party has dominated for the last 20 of 24 years. The local elections this March tipped the scales in favor of the modern revolutionary party, or PRM in Spanish. Presidential candidate Luis Abinader, nominee for the modern revolutionary party, was ahead in the polls in the lead up to Sunday's elections. Having secured more than 50% of the vote, 52-year-old Luis Abinader was announced president-elect of the Dominican Republic. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.